This video is going to go over long division, um, specifically more long division of polynomials. But uh, we're going to start with just numbers like you learned back in the day, because the entire process is the exact same. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically, to do long division, um, you're going to divide the first term by the 5. So 8 divided by 5 is 1. It goes in one time. You then take this number here and multiply times the 5. 1 times 5 is 5, and you write it below the 8, and you subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. Then you drop the next term, like so. Now you repeat the process. 33 divided by 5, it goes in 6 times. You take the 6 and you multiply by the 5. So 6 times 5 is 30, and you subtract. And you get 3. You then drop the next term. And then you repeat. 34 divided by 5 is 6. Multiply this 6 times the 5. That is 30. And you subtract 4. When you run out of numbers, that means this is your remainder. So my re remainder here is 4 out of 5. Done. Okay. Now let's look at the polynomials. It's the same process, it's just a little more confusing because when you multiply, you're gonna to have to distribute here. You'll see what I mean. So start the process, first term divided by first term. X squared divided by X is X. You then multiply and when you do this, you have to distribute. So X times X is X squared, X times two is plus two X. Now, remember these subtracts here? Well, you're going to subtract, but you need to use parentheses. So, me personally, I like to distribute this. I like to change this to a plus negative x squared, and then this plus 2x, I like to change to minus 2x. Personal preference. Either way, though, you're going to have to subtract this whole thing, this x squared minus or plus 2x. So just keep that in mind. You can either be like subtract x squared, subtract 2x, and do it kind of in your head, or you can do what I did and distribute that negative sign. It's up to you. All right, let's keep moving. In long division on polynomials, you're really looking for stuff to cancel like the x squared minus x squared. So if you end up forgetting to distribute or something and this x squared did not cancel this x squared, that means you messed up. So these x squareds cancel, and then I combine the 7x and the minus 2x, and I get 5x. And then if you look back to this other problem, once we reached a level, we dropped the next term. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to, let me do it in red. We're going to drop this plus 10. Okay, now the process repeats. First term divided by first term. 5x divided by five, uh, 5x divided by x is five. You then take the five and distribute. So that's going to be five x plus 10. Remember you are subtracting this whole thing. So again, I like to change it right here. I like to distribute that, and I'm going to change plus 10 to minus 10. This first term cancels, and it just so happens that 10 minus 10 is 0, so this one has 0 remainder, so x plus 5 is my answer. <clears throat> this next one, first term divided by first term, 2x squared divided by x, is 2x. Distribute and multiply this, you would get 2x squared minus 6x. Okay, now remember you're minusing this whole thing. This is where I make the change. I make it an add and distribute a negative sign to both of those things. The 2x squareds cancel, 
And then it's minus 5x plus 6x is 1x. Drop your next term and repeat. First term divided by first term. x divided by x is positive 1. Now I'm going to distribute that positive 1, that plus 1, to both of these things. So it's x minus 3, but remember there is a minus here like this and I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So it's really like a plus negative x plus 3. The x's cancel and it just leaves 3 plus 3 is 6. This is my remainder. So it's 6 over whatever you were dividing by which happened to be x minus 3. This right here is a realistic long division of polynomial problem. Okay, last one. First term divided by first term. 3x cubed divided by x squared is 3x. This one's different because I have to distribute to three different things here. So distribute that 3x everything, you would get 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x. And remember, it's minus parentheses on all of this. On these, these deeper problems, I really like to distribute the negative sign. So plus negative 3x, plus 6x, and then this plus 3x uh, at the end is minus 3x. Combine, these cancel. Negative 5x squared plus 6x squared is 1x squared. 2x minus 3x is negative 1x and I drop my next term, so plus 6. The process repeats. First term divided by first term, x squared divided by x squared is positive 1. Distribute the 1. It's just going to turn into x squared minus 2x plus 1. You're subtracting this whole thing. I'm going to change these signs. So this plus 1 is now going to become a minus 1. Combine. This one, one negative 1x plus 2x is 1x. 6 minus 1 is 5. So this one, the remainder is 1x plus 5, or just x plus 5 over whatever I was dividing by, which was x squared minus 2x plus 1. And just to show you one more time, because I feel like this part is the um, most common mistake, it's like this. Imagine just a random problem, 5x minus 2, and then you had minus, um, I don't know, 5x minus 7 or something. I am changing this. And the only way I can change that is by distributing a negative. When I distribute the negative, it's really like this. Let me rewrite it. 5x minus 2. And then under it, it's going to be negative 5x. And then plus 7. And then instead of thinking like minus negative 7, I can just look at this and combine. Okay. So I hope that video helped and did not confuse you too much.